So let's say I want to solve a problem that has two equations and two unknowns. So I've got a nasty equation in a physics thing right here. I have this equation right here, 6.3636. I've got this thing called VH, and it's squared. It's kind of a nasty equation I want to use the solver. So how would I do that? So I pull out the, uh, the, the TI CAS here. I'm going to go to the math button, no, the menu button, and I'm going to go down to algebra, and I'm going to choose the solve button. So I have solve, and now what I need to do is I need to type in that equation. Let's see if we can get that equation here. We can see the equation that I want to solve. So they call it the equation, it's going to be, you see that 6.36, so 6.36 equals, so the equals button is here. I'm just typing the equation as it stands, equals 0.275. And I have VH there because it represents the velocity, so but I'm just going to say X to make my life much, much easier. So I'll say x, and I'm going to square it, plus 0.105. Now I'm going to do the parentheses thing, right? You can see my equation right here, times 12.6 minus 2.62x. Now, that's quantity squared, if you look at that, so it's important, quantity squared. And now I want to say comma. The comma is a button kind of down here at the bottom, comma, and then I'm going to say x. As a note, that this is a quadratic formula, and so you will get two answers. So only one makes sense, and they give the two options. It could either be 2.15 or 4.8. And so those are the two answers. In this case, it turns out that 2.15 is the one that makes sense. That's how you use a solver.